really important thing we need to discuss today that called plain text resumes. Probably something you haven't thought about. Uh, you've probably thought about this beautiful one that you're seeing here, right? You've probably been worried about that one. That's your pretty resume. Um, this is not a plain text resume, but I wanted to show you the difference between the two. Um, so this is the kind of resume that you see here that you're going to be handing to someone uh, physically in person, perhaps at a job fair, perhaps when you're getting an interview, you're walking in, you hand it to them, perhaps maybe even emailing to some specific person who has requested an email. This is not the kind of resume that you're going to be handing in um, if you are looking for something like... Um, uh, well, let's say you're, you're using a job board or something along those lines. That would be something totally different called a plain text resume. So notice the what you have here is something that has format. It has color, a little bit of color. It has um, bullet points. It has things like that. Um, there's some cute formatting here. Sometimes we even have a picture up here. Um, this is not going to go well if you're uploading to a, a job board because that job board is going to be um, used or extracting information from a robot. Uh, the robots sometimes get confused by the format and other things like that and they kick you out. Um, and you don't even necessarily know that you're not in the running anymore. Um, you just are no longer there uh, because the robot can't read what you're doing. Um, so we want to not have that happen to you. We want to have a plain text resume which has zero formatting, zero um, for zero pictures, zero color, none of that sort of thing. Um, it's not real pretty. Um, so let me show you how you can do that. So you're going to take your pretty resume. Okay, this is Microsoft Word software. You're going to go up to File. Um, you're going to see that there's either uh, Save As or sometimes you'll see Save a Copy. And in this case, we're going to click Save As. Uh, we're going to be real careful about where we figure out where to put it. Okay, because so we can find it again. I'm going to put it on the desktop so I can find it. We're going to uh, make a a heading or a name that we can remember. We're going to call it something with plain text in it, right? So that we can find it again. Okay. And then the most important part is this next drop down menu. You see the drop down menu, the, the uh, first one that is usually saved without thinking about it is the word document. You're going to scroll down to where you see actually plain text. So save it as plain text. Make sure we can find it again. We know where it is. Okay, then it's going to give you this little window, preview window. Make sure that you can read it. If it looks like it's in a foreign language, then you want to play around with this box up here to make sure it looks correctly. You want to save OK. Now, it's going to go away, so you're going to have to figure out where it is. Um, and that means you're going to have to go over here to something on the desktop to find it again, right? Now, the important part here is that when you see all this stuff and you're searching for it and you're like, where is it? Uh, sometimes it doesn't always show up. Um, you might have to make sure that you are um, searching for all types of files and not just Word files. If you, if you, for instance, if you went into Microsoft Word and you were trying to open it in Word, um, it would only open Word files, which would be Docs or DocXs, um, and you would not find your file because it's no longer one of those. Um, so this is what it looks like now. Um, this is a plain text resume. Okay, so you can see that it's, it's real easy. Sometimes they're called ASCII resumes too. Um, it's real easy to read for a, for a computer. Um, it's basically taken everything out of the pretty one. Okay, so there's no more little cute stuff on the side. There's no more color, uh, but we still have the headings. Um, now, once you save it in plain text, you still wanna go back and quickly and look at it and make sure that everything is the way it should be because sometimes the format changes a little bit. So you wanna kind of scroll down and make sure that it's still readable, still makes sense. You might wanna eliminate a couple of extra spaces. Um, not that it's going to be seen that way, but just, just make sure that there's no problem with it. Sometimes bullet points give it a little problem and you have to fix it. Um, but for the most part, this is what you got. Um, this is your plain text. So you want to have multiple different types of resumes. One of the things in your arsenal that you want is a plain text. Okay. So happy, um, happy resume job searching.